on my local this it is your vato spike and we are here with a brand new video on chills 10 scary videos not for the fearful I'm just playing with you guys. What is going on, my local? This is your Vato Spike, and I am back with a brand new video. And today's video is going to be 10 scary videos not for the fearful. I've been getting a lot of comments that I should react to chills, so I said, you know what? You know what? Why not react to chills for today just so that I can bring you guys a little bit of brand new content? I know you guys um, do have a lot of other YouTubers that you guys do like watching, so might as well bring up another one, which is chills. I have seen his videos before. Um, they're very entertaining and he does know what he's doing. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps the channel, helps me grow in this YouTube world. Helps me get up there and get that plaque one of these days. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for your love and support. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. On September 9th, 2017, a 19-year-old woman named Kanika Jenkins was found in the freezer of the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois. Here she is, dressed in blue, walking normally to a party with friends. These final scary moments caught on hotel security camera mark the last time anybody saw her alive. She is leaving a party and appears to have trouble walking as she stumbles down a hall, not looking ahead, looking lost and disoriented. No one is with her as she walks alone. Make sure you guys have real friends if you're, if you're going to drink. People who are going to watch over you. Personally, myself, I do not drink myself. I'm not against it. It's just not for me. Um, but I, I do always, if I go out with someone and they end up drinking, I am the designated driver. I, I, and I always make sure my friends are well taken care of. Past the kitchen and towards the freezer storage that would claim her life. There has been some controversy surrounding this case, but now that I see her condition, I believe it's possible that she accidentally walked into the dark freezer, shut the door, and couldn't find her way out. It's a terrifying situation and I wish there was some way to stop her from walking off camera, knowing what's going to happen next. Her friends really should have been with her to stop this from happening, but I'm sure they know that already and probably feel shame and regret every day, That's which true. only makes this video all the more horrifying to watch unfold. Tell me if you think the hotel should be held responsible or not for what happened to Kanika Jenkins. Even though she is a legal adult and therefore largely responsible for herself, I think they are partially responsible because the kitchen should have been closed off since it was not in use. I think they should have some more security to make sure that they can watch over their customers regardless of who is to blame what happened is truly terrible and my heart goes out to her family the no but real shit that oh, man that's horrible um yeah please watch your friends especially if you guys are going out drinking and all that please be safe jordanian ghost hunter known only as mr harith is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on live stream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room, the witch was just in. The figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well. This might have been caused by a live stream delay, except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same. The ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next. John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvened downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but uh, I doubt it.
After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. Alright. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown. So there's a strong chance that this ghost video is real. The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky sighting oh. over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, they're right there. Holy sh Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the Crazy Red Show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. I admit, I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace. I don't know, I see the... I see... I don't know why... I don't know if you guys can see it too, but I... I see lines right here. I don't, know, I don't know if you can, uh, I, 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 I can kind of see them like through the video, I see like these, these, these little lines like right here, uh, right there, right there. It's far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. A slamming door wakes up Tiana Wilson and her family, who have long suspected their house to be haunted. They grab a camera and timidly go exploring upstairs. Oh! oh. Shortly afterwards, oh. an alarm fills the house and things get even scared. creepier. What's that oh, listen. No way. Damn. Oh, to go. That's what the beeping is. It's the fridge. <laughs> They shut the fridge and wonder how it was opened in the first place. That's when their grandmother, who is staying with them for a few days, comes to see what the commotion is. Did you, did you leave the fridge door open, Mom? I can't remember if I did. I know I went in and took a bottle of water out. <laughs> Probably I did. The grandmother isn't sure if she left the fridge open or not. You've been sleep, Ruby. Yes, in the, in the night down here, wake me up. Ooh. I don't get up this time of morning. Is my mum a ghost? But she definitely didn't shut any doors. I'm sure it's about half past one. Oh, yeah. I can see something. And when they go back and review the video, they find a shadow figure staring at them from the end of the hallway. Freaky, right? It's 3 a.m. when an unseen employee of a pharmacy in Egypt turns on the television and pulls up a chair. Oh, I think this was fake. Yeah, no, I weird seen this things one are caught on camera. A I liquid was turns fake. into mist and floats edited. away, replaced by strange blotches on the floor in a deep, scary noise. Because you can see, like, it jumps up, I think. It jumps up, but, but it, like, all this looks edited. It looks like it stretches out as it's jumping. And you guys have already seen edited movies like that. It does have that, like, especially superhero movies, you see them all stretched out, like, going up. Like, you know how, you know Boys. what I mean. Look, look. Look. Lights flicker as a grumbling paranormal force crosses the room and sinks two dark hoof prints into the glass countertop. Nah, I knew this was fake. Mm -hmm. 
Then the security equipment stops recording. They say anything can happen at 3 a.m., but I'm not sure if this scary 3 a.m. video. In the other video, I think I already did react to it. Yeah, in the past video, this it goes up and down, and it looks edited. Is well. real, considering everything could have been done with already. voiceovers yeah. and CGI. This Ooh. individual sees strange sightings great. in the sky. Creepy stuff hidden in front of our eyes, as she puts it. It would be easy to dismiss her notions as outlandish, except for one thing. She can back up her claims. You see, Sheila has caught weird things on camera. She zooms into the trees to find a creepy pale face with round black eyes staring back at her from the treetops. This could be a balloon or something else stuck in the tree, but it's far from the only bizarre thing she's caught on camera. Bro, I don't understand that. We are living in 2020 and people still, still take videos with some type of brick or a chocolate bar. Um, maybe they use the phone case without the phone. Um, I don't understand. Why is it all that? Why is it that all these videos are not clear? Like with the new cameras, the only thing that I see that is clear are the paranormal investigation ones. But I have an iPhone, and. It's very clear. Camera near her house. A short time later, she finds this odd light not too far from where she saw the face. Two other lights are spotted in the sky in an odd formation that soon blinks away. Together, they do seem to, once connected, possibly form the outer perimeter of a much larger disc-like object. Oh. What are these strange silent objects that glow and grow? The unexplained lights do not look like a helicopter and have no trail of a spotlight, so what could they be? A popular YouTuber named Mikey021 has reason to believe his house in Brazil is really haunted. He says it's not uncommon for objects to go moving on their own. Tell me if you think this home experiment is real or not. Oh. The poor dog. He's trying to hit the dog, look. This video wonder. might be a spirit, or he could be blowing plastic cups off his counter with a hair dryer. It looks paranormal until you realize it could simply be wind. If some heavier objects were caught on camera from a different angle, showing both sides of the counter, then I would be more readily convinced. But as it stands, I'm just not sure if his house is haunted. A supposedly real ghost sighting was caught on dash cam video by VBO Life while exploring one of the most haunted places in Delhi. It happens fast, so watch closely or you'll miss the scary stuff. An apparition appears in front of them and they get freaked out, or so it seems. Slow it down and at 8 minutes and 22 seconds you'll- Ah, uh, look, it could be very bad fake editing because look, why would it be inside the dash? It's supposed to be in the street, right? Why, why is it inside the car too? This is probably fake, but it's the worst, worst editing thing. See the spirit is supposed to be in front of the car, Look. but the very bottom of its dress accidentally clips into the hood. So while this video is creepy, I can also safely say it's not real. I've got it a challenge not, for it's you. Very, it's very not real. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is I've actually been to his Instagram, he looks nothing like his voice. Chillin' YT, and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. So I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights. Otherwise, this video might be as paranormal as they say. 
A YouTuber named The Inception of Yara Phoenix captures a scary moment on camera while exploring India. While doing some kind of construction oh, work, on, a member man. of this crew holds a spike in place while another swings a heavy hammer a few feet from his head. That was probably for, I don't know. Oh, okay, he was just doing a recap. Anyways, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy it. I did, did, did. I, I have watched a lot of children's videos. Um, this one was not like a scary, um, it was all right. It was cool though. It was very entertaining. Um, I, I do, I do think his voice is funny. Not in a bad way. It's very, um, unique. It's not something that I regularly see. But it isn't a voice that I'm just used to, but I really do enjoy his videos. He does um, give out a good vibe. But anyways, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps with the channel. helps me grow on this YouTube world so that I can eventually get that plaque. Any further ado, you already know what it is. It's a very tough world. There's bad people, ghosts, spirits, creatures, always trying to hurt you. So always keep through, channel. I really, really hope to see you guys in the next video.